question 14 so this question is about the uh, ammonia formation uh, from the nitrogens and hydrogen gas and uh, is happen at different temperatures and the pressure and the question now asking which diagram is correctly represent two graphs uh, so there are two comparison uh, one is the temperature one is a pressure uh, before you answer this question uh, and choose the uh, ans the answer uh, so you need to at least understand uh, what is uh, the effects of temperatures and pressure for this uh, reaction Okay, so the first thing actually you need to know uh, the Haber process uh, the enthalpy is exo is negative then you will know uh, how it change uh, when the temperature change uh, but uh, before that uh, let's uh, discuss the uh, effect of pressure so if let's say uh, we have the high pressure so if let's say high pressure use because on left hand side total mole is 4 mole on right hand side is 2 mole 4 moles uh, obviously is um, uh, it will give more uh, pressure compared to 2 moles that's why when the high pressure use the equilibrium will try to reduce the pressure by moving to or shift to right hand side means when temperature is high the equilibrium will shift to right hand side to form lesser mole because to form lesser mole the pressure will decrease okay, that, that's the effect means in order to give or to produce more ammonia we need to use high pressure that's the meaning means uh, you should you should have a uh, the graph something like the C and D because uh, let's say we use a 500 degree C here so when pressure increases then the uh, percentage of this uh, ammonia uh, increases right so this is the, the the effects of the pressure right now about the temperature uh, if uh, we use uh, the or we discuss the temperature so we need to uh, relate to the enthalpy uh, again first you need to know the uh, enthalpies of the Haber process is exo okay at high temperature or when the high temperature use the equilibrium will try to uh, uh, reduce or decrease the temperature so how if you actually shift to left hand side so the equilibrium will shift to left hand side because when it shift to left hand side is endo why because uh, the enthalpy for forward is exo then the reverse must be endo so means when temperature increases the equilibrium will shift to left hand side which is endo and this will absorb the heat absorb the heat and temperature will decrease later uh, that's how the equilibrium uh, uh, reacts or counteracts or oppose the change so we are quite sure that at high temperature T high temperature so the equilibrium will shift to left and the ammonia formation or ammonia will be lesser this is for sure so means if we compare temperature let's say in these uh, few graphs uh, if we compare uh, different temperature we know that the lower temperature lower temperature which is 400 degree C it must have a higher yield compared to 500 means you should choose either uh, A or D because these two answers the lower temperature is has the relatively higher yield than the high temperature okay, so as you can see the 400 is above the 500 degrees C 
the graphs. If you uh, combine uh, the effect of temperatures with the pressure just now, then you should choose D because uh, D follows the two changes. The When the temperature is uh, uh, lower, then it's formed more yield, as I told you. And when pressure increases, the ammonia, ammonia, that form is more. For both graphs, yeah. Uh, let's say we just uh, look at the uh, 500 degrees C. When pressure increases, the formation of ammonia is more increases, isn't it? Uh, so therefore, it should be going up. And the 400 degrees C, the graph is uh, relatively higher than 500 degrees C. Okay, so therefore answer uh, is confirmed D. All right. Okay, that's all. Thank you.